So now we have the reference between the two projects. I think the first thing I want to move is those models down here. I have the person and the person status, which is the old models over here. Um, I want to just, I want to copy them. I just want to make a copy of these and then move them from here to here. So actually that is, the business logic should be up here. That's my feeling because I want, I want this guy to represent the business logic so he can actually know not only how to pull the data, but also how each business object works and looks. And then he can pass that information on to the, the web application. So that's my first step. And I want to add a new folder here. We could have called it model, but I'm more used to the name entities. So I'm going to add an entities here, just a folder. Now, it's important to put in the right name for folder, but let me show you something here. If I drag and drop this guy, I'm just going to grab from models. I'm going to grab the person, pull him up all the way up here and drop him in the entities. And I'm going to do the same for the status, pull him up into entities. We could do copy paste this as well. It doesn't matter. And I'm just going to delete both of these. Now they're gone. And I'll say, yep, delete it permanently. That's bad. Now we'll get a lot of errors. Doesn't matter right now. If you'll notice here, you'll actually get a squirrely line here under the namespace. Now, the reason for that is pretty simple. The problem is that right now the namespace is actually wrong because the namespace should be person application DLL dot entities and then the person, right? So let's just change that. And there are a few ways we can do it. We can ask Reshapper to do it for us, but we can also do it on a higher level by right-clicking the project. And this is actually pretty cool. I can right-click the project here and then I can say refactor. It's one of the lower ones here. Let me try and find it. Refactor and then I can say adjust namespaces. Pretty awesome stuff. And automatically it'll pop up with a list here of all the namespaces we should change. And notice the namespace here will change from person web app models into the real name. So it, instead it'll say um, project name, person application DLL dot entities. Perfect. So now the namespace is correct and we have our person and we have our person status set up. Now they have been moved, so we have moved the entities. That means we have a lot of errors actually. So this is the first pane. If I open my person controller now, oh, actually it was so clever since I renamed it to go in and say, okay, then I get the information from the person application DLL entities. Thank you, Reshopper. So you figured that out for me. So there are no errors here yet. The cool thing is, of course, notice that now the person is not being pulled right now from the models like it did before from in here in the same project, but we're actually pulling the information now from the newly created DLL file, right? So now we are, we are pulling the information of the entities from our newly created uh, DLL file. That's, that's awesome. Now we're already using the functionality from another project, from two layers, right? The one layer where we show, we use our presentation layer here, and then we have the data logic layer that actually contains the entities. Cool, let's scroll down. Let's see if we have any errors. So I'm going to go into the error list this time, click this guy, there are no errors. I just want to do a rebuild as the final thing just to make sure I really don't have any errors. By the way, if your error list is not available, go to the view and press error list. It's right here, view and error list. And then this guy will pop up down here and you can see if there are any errors. Let's see if it's done building. It's building right now, let's give it a second. So it's done building, it says to succeeded. If I go to the error list, nothing is wrong. So now we have moved the entities the model objects from actually being inside our web application, the U, the presentation part of our application. We've moved that from here, the presentation part, into where we want to store our data, um, so the DLL part. That's, that was my goal of this lesson. See you next time.